Y'all, I don't really know what to expect with this. This is just a raw reaction. No, no face cam or anything, but I wanted to do this. Okay, I don't exactly remember what I predicted the Colts to be, who they beat, who they lost. But this is going to be a little bit of, you know, oh, wow, you really thought that would happen when this happened? Let's just find out. It's a nine-minute video. Let's get to it. How I even got this idea for a video. I was given this idea by JD, a.k.a. B. Hagen on YouTube. Go subscribe. Yeah, to shout out. Yep. Already. Um, and basically what JD said was make a video reacting to and predicting the Colts schedule. Yep. I have the schedule Regular right season. here, and I have what I think the dubs and L's are going to be, the record that I think they will be at the end of the year, where I think that will make their playoff setting, worst case, best scenario, best case scenario, all that. Oh, gosh. If I say at the team, that means that it's going to be an away game. If I do not mm -hmm. say at, that means it's at Lucas Oil Stadium. Yes, sir. In Indianapolis. Now, the Colts are my favorite team, but I want to say something real quick. If y'all have any recommendations or y'all ever want to see a video, go to my IG, Affleck Time. That, it, yeah, it this is still true. This YouTube channel. Go to the Affleck Time mm -hmm, IG. Please do. Follow it. You can DM me ideas. Mm -hmm. You can comment on a post. Do whatever y'all need to. Mm -hmm. um, that's where I'm going to be um, basically responding to y'all. Um, for recommendations wise, still use the comments to comment on the video. All right, now let's get right into the video. Week one, we have at the Jaguars. Now the uh -oh. Jaguars are predicted. I think I predicted this wrong. First role. pick in the NFL draft, like they're gonna get the first pick in the NFL draft, which means they're predicted to be horrible. The Colts ended badly last year. They have Philip Rivers now. Um, if he can stay healthy for this year, I think they'll be okay. I think Ooh. Jacoby Brissett might just be a better backup, too, at the same time, you know? Kind Facts. Of like Jacoby backed up great. And at the Jaguars week one, I think they're going to take a W. All right. I was wrong. Now, <laughs> let's talk about this for a second, y'all. Who did not think that the Colts were going to beat the Jaguars week one? Um, I don't think that that was an unpopular pick, but they've lost like six years in a row um, week one, so whatever. Two is against the Vikings. Now, the Vikings beat the Saints to get to the divisional round mm -hmm. of the NFC playoffs. Uh, oh, my gosh. They're a very good and talented team. They I might have picked Stephon against Colts here. kind of seemed like a player who was hurting their team more than helping. And um, they also got Tajay Sharp, I think. And he's really good. So, I think they're going to take an L week two. Okay, so I'm wrong there, too. But I don't really think anybody expected the Vikings to play as poorly as they did, but Justin Jefferson was a good sign for the fan base. Week three is against the Jets. Okay, the Jets got Frank Gore, you know, whatever, but they're st they still kind of look like the Jets. But Facts. there's always a couple surprise teams. Maybe the Jets are a surprise team. I doubt it. I think they're going to take a W there. Uh, yeah, good Week doubt. Week four at the Bears. The Bears have Nick Foles starting. That doesn't mean that, the, that it's going to save the dysfunction on the offense. Whoa, um, was, okay, yo, listen to that. Great prediction. Um, Obviously, Bears just made the playoffs, but their offense is dysfunctional when it had Nick Foles. I, I was not mentioning Trubisky here. Just Mitchell Trubisky's fault. The defense is still amazing, but the offense is atrocious, and the Colts' defense looks like it's going to be amazing next year, so that's a W It right was. There. Week 5 is at the Browns. The Browns are still the Browns. That's all I got to say. That's a W. Whoa! That was horribly wrong. Um, the Browns are not still the Browns. The Browns just made the playoffs for the first time since 2002. Um, anybody with more than half a brain, I bet you would have predicted that. But apparently I was having a small brain moment. My bad, y'all. Week 6 is Bengals at home. Um, and this is pretty dang simple. They're still the Bengals, or the Bungles, as most would call them. They got Joe Burrow. True. Maybe he'll do great things. True. He'll win rookie of the year. It was a whatever. tough game, though. But he's not uh, a 21-point comeback to win one. it, but it was... You know, Peyton Manning, when he came into the Colts, threw like 26 picks. They didn't make the playoffs. He looked horrible. I don't know if that stat's right, guys. You might want to fact-check that. Arguably the best quarterback of all time. So he is. Really yeah, Peyton Manning's Manning a goat. Have a problem. Take a W there. Week all 7 right. at the Lions. The Lions are still the Lions. They never really like, have recovered from losing Calvin Johnson. My True. My fans, I love Calvin Johnson. Love Calvin. So, yeah. Week 7 W. Yeah, it was. Actually, no, it might not be week 7. They have a bye week. I I'm sorry. You guys are just going to have to keep up knowing that there's a bye week and I messed it up on the card. Uh, I yeah, it's fine, I wrote dude. it in pen. doesn't matter. Okay? 
So I do think that they will take a W at the Lions. Okay. Week 8 is against the Ravens. The Ravens have Lamar Jackson. Facts. They, they got a steal with J.K. Dobbins. J um, I called it right here. Y'all, I called that right there, okay? I don't really think many analysts or people were talking about J.K. Dobbins being a steal. And I saw a whole segment about him um, in the morning show for the NFL today. So, yeah, J.K. was a big steal. Uh, Ingram, not Melvin, or is it Marvin? I don't know, whatever. Ingram. Yeah, I think Ingram really has amazing. been hurt most of the year, but yeah. They have uh, Marquise Hollywood Brown. Hollywood, he's beast. They have a lot of talent everywhere. And I think that... um. They're going to use that talent to take a W against the Colts, which means that's now two L's in the first um, eight games. That's halfway through the season, right? Six, and, six two. and two. That's and pretty close. And against Little Rocky. First of all, at the Titans um, on Thursday night football, big primetime game. Last year they had a couple primetime games. They were one and three on primetime games. Their one that they won was against the Super Bowl champion, uh -huh. the City Chiefs. Great win. Um, at Arrowhead. Mm -hmm. So that was pretty incredible. Yet they only get one primetime game. It's at the Titans. Titans made it to the AFC Championship. I realize that. But I think the Colts are somehow going to pull it off, take a W there, surprise the world, shock the world. They did. All right. So then week 10, we got the Packers. The Packers made it to the NFC Championship, and here's where I think it's different. Um, Packers have a lot of experience and, uh, look like they are improving. Uh, so I think they're going to take an L against the Packers. Okay, so I was wrong here as well. As you can tell, um, I, I again, I don't know what I made the record, but I was wrong here, and I kind of just want to explain myself of, that was a very close game, it could have went either way, and the Packers are a great team, so that's my excuse. Week 11 is Titans at home. Now I think the Titans are going to be mad. Derrick Henry's going to ball out, and they're going to take an L there. This is a 2L shriek. That's literally what happened. Now, it wasn't a 2L shriek. Um, it was actually W and then an L. But, yeah, Derrick Henry was PO'd for that game. I think it'll be a 3L shriek because they got to go on the road to the Texans, where they actually usually win on the road. It's T.Y. Hilton's second home. But I think they'll lose that game because they won't understand who the Texans are now without g -Hop. Hold on. Which is actually probably a worse team, but the Colts won't understand it yet. They didn't understand it for three and a half quarters, but then for that last half, they got a little bit lucky. So, but yes, they did end up beating the Texans there. Now, in week 12, we have, if Aaron watches these videos, it's his favorite team, the Raiders, and it's at the Raiders. I Ooh. think the Raiders are definitely going to improve as a team. I think it's going to be a hard-fought, fun match to watch. Very fun. Better than it was last year. And I think the Colts are going to take a W. They did. Week 13, Texans at home. I think they'll take a W. They'll understand they don't have D-Hop. And I just don't think this is going to be an amazing season for the Texans. I'm sorry, Adam. Um, True, it wasn't. So then they have the Steelers. This is week 16. This is interesting. And it's at the Steelers. The Colts have not beaten the Steelers since Peyton Manning. And that was like a long time ago. It was, 09. It's basically as long as it's been since they beat the Patriots. Yeah. And I thought the Steelers were bad last year, which they, they weren't amazing. They did not have Jacoby Brissett to go against the Steelers. That hurt them a lot. I think if Jacoby would have stayed healthy that whole game, they would have taken the W. And I think with Eric Ebron, who doesn't have hands with the Steelers, and there's going to be kind of that, ooh, we don't really like Eric. He kind of betrayed us. True. I think the Colts are going to do an upset statistically-wise because of if you look at how long it's been since they've taken W against Steelers. And I think they'll, they'll take that W against against the Steelers. I was close, but no, they lost. And then Week 15 against is, is Jaguars at home. Again, predicted to be a horrible team. And I think they'll take a W there. Now, if you've been listening and, you, and you're calculating like me, mm -hmm. that's four dubs in the last four weeks. But then they had that 3L streak, so that's like, what, 4-3? and three. Okay, 5-3 and three there. Okay, 8-3. and three. Okay, 8-4. and four. Okay, um, now 10-4, and 10-5, and 11-6. I have them going 11-6. and six. Worst case scenario, 8-8. Eight and eight. Maybe if they drop some stuff. Okay, I said worst case scenario, 8-8. Eight and eight. And by the way, 11-6 and six is not possible. It's 17 games. Uh, I'm at 11-5. And if you guys look, I was exactly right on the nose. It was 11-5. Uh, now, 
I'm not gonna credit myself like too much here, but I am very excited that I got that right. But they added another um playoff position. They added a third wild card slot, I think. They did something like that or a fourth. I don't know. They they added something weird. Uh, that makes it so you could possibly get in, but I don't think we really got to worry about that. I we did. I think 9 and 7 is more realistic for worst case scenario. This is not even best case scenario. I think this is the most likely scenario at 11 and 5. If the Colts somehow beast out, I think they have a chance at going 12 and 4. Very unlikely. True, dang. Um, but I think they might win the division for the first time since 2013. I have the shirt that says 2013 ASC South Champions. I do. That's how I know that. Good shirt. So if y'all want to see more videos where I do things that y'all want me to. Dang. Uh, my IG is open. The comments are open. All right, y'all. That's about it. Um, That was me reacting to my predictions. I think I did pretty well. Um, And the next video prediction thing I'm going to do is for the playoffs. So... Once I get those all wrong, y'all can roast me and I'll look back at it and how wrong I was then. Alright, see y'all. Yo, yo, I flack out.